Hello and welcome to the weekend edition. I'm Dr. King. We have a great show lined up for you. Uh, the rains are finally here. So if there's any dry joke that made it on the show within the past few months, you can understand where it came from. Our guest tonight is the richest uh, musician in East Africa. If you don't believe it... <laughs> yes. yes. He's the richest musician in East Africa. If you don't believe it, you can ask him. Uh, <laughs> he's the only one who can confirm it. Now, he's uh, now the self-proclaimed chairman of uh, gospel music in Kenya. Rington Apoko is in the house! Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Asante Sana. Before we get to that part of the show, Ukraine has elected uh, Vladimir Zelensky, a comedian, for president, and the whole world is uncontainable. Why is this even a big deal? Kenya has been electing comedians since independence. <laughs> Aya, you need to okay your time. But I believe we need to get into the details. We, we need to get into the details. Let's start with uh, the last election. Who did not watch this Full House comedy special? As we talk today, in six months' time, the stadium in Wote will be complete. In, six, in three months' time, the stadium in Chuka will be complete. In three months' time, the stadium in Moyale will be complete. In six months' time, the stadium in Kamarin in West Pokot, which is historic, will be complete. In a couple of months, the stadium in Eldoret will be complete. In Kiambu, in another three, four months, the stadium will be complete. So instead of five stadiums, we actually went for nine, just to make it good and to make it better. <laughs> 24 months later, these jokes are still fresh, but maybe the DPL kwa namanisha una multiply six times six times six, which means bado hizo miezi ya zijafika. And do you want us to give more examples? Kuna mwenyewe hapa au ni mama au ni baba, angali ya najiguna kutembea mbele ya watu. Naana haibu. Tu kama huyo ni bure kabisa, na itaji kutekwa makofu. Isn't it funny how President Kibaki settled on the highest degree of slaps to deal with modeling? You see, there's a big difference between kupigwa makofi na kutuangwa makofi. <laughs> kupigwa makofi ni ya kawaida, usually applied when you have questions that need urgent answers. Uh, when you have uh, questions that need urgent answers. Unawekea nani supu kwa chips. That's standard practice. Kutuanga makofi, on the other hand, on the other hand, is uh, premeditated. It's done by it's done by a skilled professional, and it usually comes na dos yamadarau. Mazina pe na bilom se anaweka kofi alafa na ngoja ingie alafa na ongeza tena na ngoja ingie. Now Kenyan presidents have been some of the best comedians as you've seen, and even before President Kibaki, the president was a comedian. Now in other news, uh, thieves stole uh, 11.2 million from several Barclays ATM machines within the city, and what is that to avoid being seen, they first applied petroleum jelly on the CCTVs. Walipaka mafuta kwa CCTV ndi wasionekane. Since then, police officers are on the lookout. Wanatafuta watu wanatembea na mafuta ya kujipaka na wana good conduct. We kichana wapi abstract ya kutembea na hii mafuta. Unajua hii sasa imeguwa sila. Ati ya hii ya fande. Ok, sawa basi ni mafuta ni ya kujipaka. Hapana ni ya kupaka kwa CCTV. Hapana basi ni ya nini. Hii ya fande hii ni personal. Now, we have a very easy but fun show tonight. Now, the state of the gospel music industry is very interesting. Uh, lately, we have had controversies like Rington threatening to sue someone for using the word hallelujah in a not-so-gospel song. And like I mentioned earlier, Rington is technically like self-proclaimed uh, chairman of the gospel music industry. Now, join us on the other end of this break as we break this down even further. See you in a bit. Let's go. 
have no dust. Rahis in a haraka ku itayarisha aqua da ki kata to pata m love tabu. Chicken flavor, beef flavor, uta penda. Welcome back to the weekend edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. Like I said, the subject on our show tonight is Storia Gospel. Injiliote imekuja kwa studio. And we have the chairman in the house. Rington Apoko, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is the virtual husband, Wazari Hassan. Karibu sana. <laughs> Karibu sana. Range, bro. Range. Range, maze. Bro, waja ni kumbie. Isi naona... Uh, diamond na najita simba. Mm -hmm. Ye ni simba mwitu, mi ni simba marara. Kwa sababu... <laughs> <laughs> kwa sababu, kwa sababu bibile inasema, Yesu ni simba wa yuda. Okay. Mimi ni mtoto wa simba ya yuda, ambaye ni mtoto ambaye naitua simba marara. Yanu nalewa ise? Ah, ah. hey. <laughs> Sawa simba marara. Sasa? Hapa <laughs> kwa, hapa kwa... When you may say, when you share manual gospel, yes, yes, ah, now when you simba, yes, yes, na ukisema una tafta zari, for example, ukona right, yeah, mm, mm, but mm. see, for example, uh, nezato mi wenzango, unezato, na mbiwanga eti God ni create poa, ni kona macho poa, so nezato, uh, unezato, okay, <laughs> ini aja wevu, <laughs> <laughs> aya, uh, sawa basi, uh, now that you may. Goja, to Rudy Apoqua, a well messema, Unata Kazari, Pacaulico, of a range rover. Now any chairman wa gospel. See Indio Ilenja to Bado Willipola Conayo. Bro, Mimi, to be honest, wakati ni ilisema na ataka kuwa zari. Yes. Mimi haikuwa tu ni kitu ilikamu. Nilikuwa ni miamuka subuhi, nikasikia kwa news, zari wa meachana nda diamond. Wakati ni enda kulala, mimi kawana ndoto. Na ile ndoto ni liona, ni kawana zari. <laughs> na... Na kitu nikajisikia ni simu wangeleshe. Kwa sababu kwa ni ataniambia ni. Nijemi ni mtu wa islando. Minu kwa na shingi kwa ma. Ata inatel. Lakini Rome takatifu wakaniambia ringtone mwangeleshe. So nika mwangeleshe. Ok, anyway, iza, iza. Sijui kama Rome takatifu wacha nisconfirm sana. Juzi Rome, awezi yota na bibi ya wenyewe kama ni. Ha ha ha. Kingori, Kingori na juu asa wakati ni wajatu tu achi ya story apo. Wakati ni diskia kitu kani ambia ni mbongeche ni kaona ni mambi ya zari yesu na kupenda diamond ni heta na diamond ame kucheza. There is only one person in life who is going to be Jesus Christ. So, Mimi, ata nyinyi muki niletea muki anza kusema iti, oh, Rington, alisema nta kuwa Zari. Mini kamara ya kwanza my first post iliambia Zari, sayu me hatibrekiwa, umefanyua mabaya, nikamambia kuna mwana umemoja wezi kukufanyua mabaya na ni Yesu. Nikamambia Mimi na kupenda vire Yesu wa na kupenda. So, ah, sasa ulikuwa kama broka wa Yesu. Si broka. <laughs> Mini mtoto wa Yesu. Uko na point poa na tushukuru Yesu. Pamoja, lakini hapa kwa ma gospel artist wengine. Eh, umeteke role ya kuwa criticize. Siwache watu wende kwa shetani independently. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what is the problem? Waja kingwiri, waja titini kwa mbio ukweli. Martin... Luther King 
alisema. Unajua mimi watu wana ni sana kwa social media sijui kizungu. So mimi start tena na na kizungu sana. Twende, twende, iko nini? <laughs> so I'm not gonna try very much na kizungu yes. because uh, na end up ku sound kama joho. So <laughs> <laughs> Nina heshima joho. Uh, so, uh, nini what I'll do nita speak ile language na understand. Yes. Na language yangu ni amta. Nitasema hivi. Eh, sitaruhusu watu waende kwa shetani independently. If it was as simple as that, then Yesu angekuja na kufa kwa cross. Yesu ali come na kadai kwa masin zetu ili tusiende kwa devil independently ili kwamba alikufa oh. kwa sababu ya masini zetu wa tusevu. Sasa mimi kama mtoto wa Christ, and King Ori, I don't want to tell you that I am righteous. King Ori, I am very sinful. Unaza King Ori, I am very envious. <laughs> not, not, not as such. But by the grace, I am saved by the grace. But I want to tell you, a couple of, me, I'm, I'm envious, I'm not righteous. Me, I'm say, maybe I'm just sometimes. Maybe I'm say, I am not probably I'm not likable in the I, I may not be me out of the 40 million uh, Kenyans I think 30 million are my fa- my my fans maybe 10 don't believe in me how on the social media wanaongea vile wanaongea but you see how 30 million wako na opinion yes but you see kingori wacha tu nikwambie ukweli opinion ya Yesu ndio ina count ukifurahisha Yesu hata 40 million wa Kenya wakuchukie it's useless because hata wao ni wanategemea huyo Yesu so mimi na strive to nifurahisha Yesu na kufurahisha Yesu ni kuambia wale wasanii ambao wanapotea kwa sababu Yesu alitupatia jukumu siku alienda heaven twende dunia mzima tuhubiri the good news uwezi ambia will Paul aezi ambia watu yes. i will tell you for fact nimekuwa places mingi naenda kwa mafamilia watu nikivisit wakianza kucheza ngoma za diamond na I'm being natural as a Kenyan wakianza kucheza ngoma za kina diamond akina harmonize namwambia si afadhali kama unataka hiyo category ya music chezeni will Paul because kwa hiyo category ya <laughs> I understand kwa hiyo category ya wasafi mm-hmm. kwa sababu kama lazima mcheze hiyo ngoma za wasafi basi cheza will Paul as a secular Kenyan wasafi artist but who, who decides who decides uh, threshold ya gospel ni gani like ngoma inafika wapi si will Paul hata akisema yesu maha, ako sawa zin ngoma inafikaje ikuwe gospel you will know the bible says you will know them by the power of their testimony will Paul say anaza kukuambia wewe uokoke <laughs> so nataka niseme hivi Will Paul ametukon kama wa Kristo <laughs> Will Paul ametukon because me I'm very sorry kuita Will Paul a con man because uh, wakati Will Paul so, walikamu na bahati <laughs> listen actually wakati Will Paul walikamu na bahati wa Kristo wengine na madije walianza kutuambia Rington hii na kina Radio na kina Jimmy Gate atuwahitaji kwa sababu gani tumepata new school wale wanaimba kama kina Diamond lakini wanaimbia God ndio tukasema ni sawa sisi au ma boys atawapiga tutaka tu hapa tuta maintain kwa sababu kwa shamba kuna watu wa kukodisha na wanyao wako na title deed <laughs> As someone on from our audience mentioned mm-hmm. labda yeye ndio kizazi kipya yule mtu aliandika songs of solomon I will tell you nah, nah. no 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 bro yes if i'm trying yes if i'm trying think about it like this mm. uh <clears throat> will paul ali come na Sitolia. Sitolia. Na before Akalia to sana. understand Saidi ya Willie Paul, <laughs> sinio before to understand Saidi ya Willie Paul, he's done some of the best gospel music. Una agree. Sinio? Okay. Wakati alifanya tuseme kama collabo na Mimi siwezi sema Willie Paul amefanya the best gospel some kwa sababu Sitolia tuliisikiza kwa sababu I think mimi nikiangalia ile spirit ilivuta kwa Sitolia ilikuwa ya Gloria Muliro. Taja nyingine. Hiyo <laughs> Gloria Muliro alikuwa na spirit ya God hiyo ndio ilituvuta. Tukakutana na Willie Paul hapo ndani. Taja nyingine. Eh hey. eh taja ingine iko ndio inaenda taja ingine haya alimba inaitwaje ya ya lala salama lala salama yes. lala salama hiyo ni ngoma tulikuwa tunacheza kwa mazishi eh, but this way baba lala salama tukienda kwa mazishi wakati mimi i'll tell you there's a cousin uh, there's a time a cousin of mine died na alipata accident alikuwa alikuwa amenua her first car hapo wa yakiwe wakati ndio mazishi tulicheza lala salama kwa sababu gani tulikuwa tunamchezea cousin yetu lala salama lakini hatuwezi cheza kwa church but 
siko baya swali yangu ni acha tu nikudrop kwa swali yangu mimi na agree Willy Paul ametoa mango makali kali na labda Willy Paul apitgie watu story ya side yake ya mbona anafikiria watu wanasema aimbi gospel hiyo si, mimi siezi judge before i But, came here before i came how, here how i was in, on will paul's instagram kwa sababu kuna fan alinitag comment kwa post ya will paul na hiyo instagram i think i post like two hours ago ni amschana amevalia kanguo kamefika hapa haleluya akifanya amegeuka anaonesha mahaga kamera akifanya na will paul ame post Let's be honest. Let's call a spade a spade, bro. Mimi shetan Rington Rington may not be I'm not holy because the day I call myself holy nitafanya Yesu muongo. We are all sinners. But Rington. the truth is Rington the... kama ni wewe utaandika list ya watu wanaenda kwa shetani. <laughs> kama ni wewe utaandika list ya watu wanaenda kwa shetani. <laughs> Itanasa hata wasio kuemo. Kama nani? Uh, juu ukiangalia kama sasa hivi ukisema unaenda kuangalia mm. a, nini account ya Willy Paul kuangalia mimi nataka tu niambie according to you what is the threshold ya ngoma ya gospel ingoma ukisikia unajua okay. ni injili now i'll answer you that very well we judge by the spirit the fans wengi wanaenda hapo kwa social media wanasema you don't judge don't judge there, there are so many scriptures in the bible ambazo zinasema you will judge you will judge when you receive jesus when you get become spirit filled you will judge by the spirit but matthew chapter 6 verse 35 says yes. different what does it say <laughs> it says that uh initwaji uh -huh. usijudge mtu uh -huh. kwa kama sisi binadamu sisi yes. wote yes. ni wenye dhambi yes uh -huh. do you know the same bible says that uh jesus is the king of this, kings the same bible no, the listen, same bible, the, same bible. <laughs> the, the bible the same bible nasema jesus is the king of kings ndio now he is the king of the small kings for us we are, for us ambao wamejua light we accept jesus we are small small kings so what i'm trying to say tell you is we will judge by the spirit when we have the spirit of god in our hearts we will judge we look at a demon we will tell you you tumekuona wewe shetani tumekuona ni sawa but the same same bible yes. kwa Matthew chapter 6 verse 35 inasema different. Mm. Ndio nimekuambia hivi. Wale wa Kristo na sasa hii watu wako home wako na mimi. Hapa huko peke yako. Kwa sababu wanajua ukipokea Yesu na upokea Roho Mtakatifu utaona demon na utaiambia utaiambia in the name of Jesus get out nimekuona. Kwa sababu sikiza the, the no. truth the truth is bro hakuna vile mtu atatoa. This has happened with will Paul has written history in the Republic of Kenya which history kwa kuchukua in Kenya is vitu tunasikianga nje unachukua the name hallelujah what is the meaning of hallelujah praise the lord not just the lord katika injiu inamaanisha hallelujah hale luja ja, 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 not, I'm not, i don't mean the ja of jamaica but ja uh, the king of kings kwa. listen listen so praise god yani unachukua msichana will paul ndiye amechukua amechukua huyo uh, mdemu ako alafu will paul ni mbig huyo msichana ni mdogo re alafu anamsikia skiza nyamaza kwanza skiza skiza anamshika bro mimi nimeokoka lakini all the parts of the body i call as they are will paul ameshika ma ngoja 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 mimi kwanza matthew nimekuja kingori wewe kingori wewe si wewe ujui wewe unajua tu script ya moja na hata wewe script yote juu matthew 635 hakuna listen hiyo ni 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 nini mimi sita kutaja mtu na askia <laughs> Mr. Jim tu wewe skiza skia bro Skiza ni I am not so much concerned about that me I am so much concerned that Will Paul anachukua msichana anamshika wana shoot kwa kitanda Yeah because the video is shot on a bed that is that's a fact in a, in a bed sheet hapo nje kwanza nilisikia juzi mtu akisema hiyo bed sheet mshuti nao ni Aisli so ameshuti kwa kitanda ya bed sheet ya Aisli na anashika msichana anamshika anamshika vizuri kwa mahaga alafu anasema haleluya <laughs> hiyo ni shetani na ni jehanam straight for kenyans just ondi wasewa chanuke mm. jungoma ni mob sahi mm. 
what are the key elements to look out for ukisikiza ngoma ndio ujue hii ni gospel na hapa tumekoniwa mimi nataka tu niwaambie ama vijana wa Kenya hivi um to follow to spirit ya god angalia tu ile because unajua from the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh so as much as unaona rington anaweza kuwa au kubaliani na rington but passionately you also see rington everywhere rington has come to your school rington has come to your church as he looks from his abundance he passionately speaks about jesus he is speaking from the heart so ukiangalia msanii yeye from the abundance of his heart he never speaks jesus na in the interest of time i don't believe tunazendelea uh, time yetu imeisha but first of all two things one thank you very much for coming na second ni we hope to ki invite tena because kuna topic nimekuwa nataka nikulete sana ukiongeleshe ya uh, music copyright na mcsk ulifight ya wasi sana ah bro hiyo ni rahisi one sentence i fought for mcsk uh, na sai mcsk kuna licenses i fought mcsk the corrupt people are out so it's a simple thing. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to do it. You shall maliza. Yeah, of course. Sir, but I'm going to guest to power. Thank you very much for coming through. What my coffee are you? Hi. So, so, alafu unajua kuna initiative tumeanza especially now that mvua imeanza. Mazi lazima twende tupande miti mau. I spoke to Senator Wanarok Ledama Olekina. We are now doing it even bigger and better. So come through in big numbers eh uh, tume and the initiative we have a target of a million trees uh, we want to plant uh, kuna kitu kitaitwa propagation ya miti tutataka kwenda kuifanya ngongrod wasewa pewe seedlings wazipande zifanyiwe kitu inaitwa hardening alafu sasa zitransportiwe ziende mau like we said the senator promised uh, to give people seedlings waende wapande alafu zikisha memea kidogo zikifika hiyo level ya kwenda kupandwa nini he will buy the seedlings back from people i have received very very many responses on my social media accounts Eh, na kama bado uko interested kama kuna mtu ako interested like i said i'll respond to each and everyone you can come to my social media uh, instagram na twitter dr underscore kingori that's dr underscore kingori na facebook dr kingori eh, come make inquiries wase wengi eh, kuna namba kwa instagram yangu unaweza text usi call just text tuta take roll call alafu kuna wase pia wamekuwa ki reach out nairobi university eh, Uh, mo university ld wako na representatives we can organize especially i also appreciate efforts za wale wase wame come together na environmental programs to collabo is for the benefit of the country alafu to launch countrywide inaweza ama iwezi inaweza sana alafu bro inaweza sema kitu tutapanda miti na hizo account zako bro ni poa yenyewe umenifanya niwakumbuke kitu moja nilienda ni miti gani tunaongelea hapa <laughs> Sini miti ya nature ya forest. So bro nilikuwa nasema hivi. <laughs> Kuna siku nilienda kuongelesha msanii fulani wa kizazi kipya. Nikimwambia yenyewe usifanye vile unafanya. Aliniuliza Rington uko na followers wangapi Instagram? Nikamwambia napambana sana nifike 100,000. Akaniambia unajua Rington mimi karibu nakonga million. Anganiambia Rington unajua sasa wewe hata una ruhusa yako niongelesha. Nikamuuliza, unajua kitambo mimi nilikuwa na followers wengi sana kwa MySpace kabla Instagram ikuje. Oh, ikafungwa. Eh ikafungwa by oh, mistake. Eh. <laughs> so bro, ni ruhusa tu nisemee Instagram account yangu ili watu wani follow at least wani tole aibu. <laughs> Ah, sasa Instagram yako. Instagram yako ni Instagram account yangu ni Rington. Okay. Apoko. Alafu Apoko is one word. Apoko. Oh. Hakuna. Watu wa Hakuna space. Rington Apoko. Apoko. Like Obama Apoko. Alafu kwa Facebook <laughs> Rington Alex Apoko. Apoko like one word. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> don't practice separation of issues. It's very sensitive. Watu wa Kofi Rington tena. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's it for the weekend edition. See you next week. My name is Dr. Kingori.